Hello everyone. This is going to be a beginner's tutorial on how to use Curves to Mesh. We'll show you how to install the add-on and also its basic use to get you started. The add-on works much as the name suggests. It will take a set of curves and then create a Blender mesh from them that can be used in Blender like any other mesh. First of all, let's install the add-on. If you go to Edit Preferences and then click the Install button and go to the folder where you downloaded the zip file. You do not need to unzip the zip file. You just need to select it here and click Install Add-on. Here, the Curves to Mesh entry should appear. Check the checkbox to make sure that the add-on is installed successfully. Close this window and you should be good to go. First, let's start with a little helper object that is included in the add-on to get you started. First of all, delete the default cube as per usual. Then, press Shift-A to bring up Blender's Add menu. Under the Curve section, if the add-on is installed, you'll see this option called 2x2 two two Bezier Patch. If we click this, a square-shaped object will appear. In actual fact, this is a set of four curves that have been arranged together into a square. One, two, three, four. You can actually now start using the add-on straight away. If you press the N key here, Curves to Mesh should be on the side panel under a tab called Curves to Mesh. Here, the main panel will be displayed. Along the top of the panel will be a preview section. This enables a preview mode of the object before it will be created properly in Blender. Click the Enable button. This will show you a transparent preview of what the mesh will look like before it is created by pressing the Create Mesh button. But before we do that, let's edit the curves to make them a little bit more interesting. With the object selected, press the Tab key. Then, click and drag the mouse to draw a selection square over the whole object, and then let go. You'll see that the control points for each of the curves is selected. Let's click on just one of these control points. This is called a Bezier control point, as Curves to Mesh works on Bezier curves. If you select one of these control handles on each of the control points, and then press G to move it around, you'll see that the curve moves with it and also the preview mode updates along with the change of shape of the curve. What you may wish to do is to see all the control points on all the curves at once. You can do this by clicking on the overlays options in the viewport. Scroll down to Handles and click the drop down box and click All. Here you'll then be able to see all the control points at once much more easily and select and move them as you wish. Once you are happy with your changes, you can create the mesh properly for further editing in Blender. This is done by simply pressing the Create Mesh button on the panel. Here, a proper Blender object is created, which can be edited and manipulated in Blender as usual. 
For instance, you could press the tab key here and you would enter the normal edit mode for Blender. You can then move around the vertices or you could select face mode to select multiple faces and then press E to extrude and it behaves just as a normal mesh would. There is no different. If you want to go back and edit the curves, they are still available. We just delete this mesh and select the curve object as before. It is all there as it was previously. If you press the enable mode, you can just edit the curves as you wish and then create mesh again. And that's it for now. In the next video, I'll show you how you can start to create more complex surfaces with the curves to mesh add on and how you can change some more display options to make editing curves a little bit more easy in Blender. Thank you very much for listening.